oversight will now come into session. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Present. Senator Bernsketter. Here. Senator Searpoit. Senator Coleman. Senator Fitzwater. Senator Koenig. Here. Senator Rizzo. Here. Senator Roberts. Here. We have a quorum. Okay, seeing that we have a quorum, we are going to get through the fiscal oversight bills first. So I move that we go into I move that we go into executive session. Have a second. I was pausing. I could. I could. I could feel this. <laughs> <laughs> I move that um, Senate substitute for Senate committee substitute for Senate Bill 735 be brought before the committee. Have a second. Do we have any discussion? Uh, yes. Chairman. Proceed. Uh, this bill, I, th I know uh, in perfection, I voted against it. And I'm, I'm actually okay with the policy thing, but the, um, the idea of not paying any, any um, capital gains taxes on, on uh, these metals just doesn't make sense to me. And the fiscal impact on the state right now is pretty small, but it could become quite large in the future. And for that reason, I mean, we keep talking about broadening the tax base and keeping taxes low. And this does the opposite. So for that reason, I'm going to vote against it in fiscal. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, I move that Senate substitute for Senate committee substitute for Senate bills 735 be voted do pass. Any discussion? Seeing none. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. No. Senator Searpoint. Senator Coleman. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. No. Senator Roberts. President. Uh, Senator Coleman. Oh. Which one? Senator this Rizzo. is the golden silver. Aye. By your vote of 4-3 with one present, you have moved Senate substitute for Senate committee substitute for Senate Bill 735 do pass. I now move that we bring Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1746 before the committee. Do I have a second? I have a second. Any, the bill is now before the committee. Any discussion on this bill? Seeing none, I move Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1746 be voted due pass. Any discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burns Getter. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Yes. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Or, sorry, Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. By your vote of 9-0, you have moved Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1746. Do pass. I now move Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1659 be brought before the committee. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. The bill is now before the committee. Any discussion? Seeing none. I move Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1659 be voted due pass. Do I have a second? Moved and a second. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. No. Senator Searpoint. Senator Coleman. Aye. Pass. 
Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. No. Senator Roberts. No. Oh, Senator Coleman. By your vote of 5-3, you have moved Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1659. Do pass. I now move Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bills 2134 and 1956. Be voted. Do pass. Do I have a sec? Or I'm sorry, be brought before the committee. Do I have a second? <coughs> moved and have a second. The bill's now before the committee. Any discussion? The water bills. Do we need to? You want to wait a minute, and we can. You want us to pull it up? Or? Thank you. Did you say yeah? You do want. Do you want to wait a minute, or not? You're good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. No discussion. I now move uh, Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bills 2134 and 1956. Be voted. Do pass, Mr. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Brunskitter. Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. By your vote of 8-0, you have moved Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bills 2134 and 1956 do pass. I now move that we bring up House Committee Substitute for House Bill 2227 before the committee. Do I have a second? I have a second. Any discussion on this bill? Any further discussion? Seeing none, I now move House Committee Substitute for House Bills House Bill 2227 be voted do pass. Any do I have a second? Any discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. By your vote of 8-0, you have moved House Committee Substitute for House Bill 2227, do pass. I now move that we bring up House Committee Substitute for House Bills 2626 and 1918. Do I have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this bill? This is um, this is the, the underlying bill is the ear, the color implant. Representative. Um, yeah, the hearing bill, Representative Cameron Parker. It makes them eligible under the Medicaid, cochlear implants eligible under the Medicaid program. Uh, Senator Arthur has the, no, I'm sorry, Senator uh, McCreary has the companion bill in the Senate. Any discussion? <coughs> I now move that we do pass House Committee Substitute for House Bills 2626 and 1918. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. 
Senator Thompson Raider. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. By your vote of 8-0, you have moved House Committee substitute for House Bills 2626 and 1918 do pass. I now move House Bill 1960 be brought up, be brought before the committee. Do I have a second? Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, I now move House Bill 1960 be voted do pass. Do I have a second? Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. Here. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. By your vote of 8 0, you have moved House Bill 1960 do pass. I now move that we bring up House Bill 2430 before the committee. Do I have a second? I have a second. Do we have any discussion? Seeing none, um, I now move House Bill 2430 be voted due pass. Do I have a second? Have a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Raider? Aye. Senator Burnsketter? Aye. Senator Searpoint? Aye. Senator Coleman? Aye. Senator Fitzwater? Aye. Senator Koenig? Aye. Senator Rizzo? Aye. Senator Roberts? Aye. By your vote of 8 0, you have moved House Bill 2430 due pass. I now bring up House Bill 2719. Do I have a second? Moved and seconded. Okay, this is um, Representative Hudson's bill. 2719, and you guys got a sub that we distributed a couple of days ago. His his is the this is the tourism bill for the tourism supplemental oh, sure. fund. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that we voted up that was identical to mine, I assume. Right. Yeah. Yep. And um so and the sub that we the sub that we uh distributed a couple days ago. When has that mattered? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the the sub that um that I sent out a couple of days ago had my language extending the uh, date on this uh, civil legal services fund. You know, we've got the expiration in it and we passed this out our first, it was in our first hearing, I think, um, but it hasn't really moved. And so I've added it to this bill and it just removes the um, expiration date on legal aid. So does anybody have any questions about the sub before I move forward? Maybe to inquire Senator Rizzo. Sure. sure. So I'm assuming appropriations already happen are happening. Is this, um, I guess I'm failing to understand the need for this. So uh, as of, I, I believe it was just before session, this is something that, that, that changed a few years ago, but I think they have interpreted it differently than what they normally did. Uh, it fell off the books when the sunset expired. Yeah, I knew the sunset expired. And so they had just been, I think, working as normal, and then they have an opinion now that happened just before session that said, no, the actual fund expired with the sunset, and this just replaces the fund. So, I, so those appropriations can't happen then? You can make an argument that if someone challenged it, it would it would have some trouble. Uh, this would just is kind of a belt and suspenders approach. It just it just reinstitutes the fund. It doesn't create the mechanism by which. So what did the appropriation committee do yesterday? That I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm sure they put money into it. It's just a matter of if it's challenged. If it's challenged, it could be a problem. Right. So you know, it's a belt and suspenders approach. Any other questions? Okay, seeing none, I move that we, let me make sure I get my motions right here. I move that we, that we adopt the sub. Do I have a second? We have a second. 
Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? No. The ayes have it. The sub is before the committee. So I now move that we vote do pass Senate committee substitute for House Bill 2719. Do I have a second? Moved and seconded. Mr. S any discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Rader. Aye. Senator Burnsketter. Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Aye. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. By your vote of 8 0, you have moved Senate Committee substitute for House Bill 2719 do pass. I now move that we bring up, and these are the two bills that we heard yesterday that um, talked about that we were going to vote those out unless anyone had any heartburn about doing that. No one came to me and talked about it, so I'm assuming that that means we don't have heartburn about it. Um, so I move that we bring up House Committee substitute for House Bills 1818 and 24, 2345. Do I have a second? S moved and seconded. The, House is, the bill is before the committee. Any discussion? Seeing none, I now move that we do pass House Committee substitute for House Bills 1818 and 2345. Do I have a second? I have a second. Any discussion? Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Ritter. Aye. Senator Burns Aye. Senator Searpoint. Aye. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Koenig. Say aye. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. Say it again. Aye. aye. I'm sorry. Eight to zero. By your vote of eight zero, you have moved House Committee substitute for House Bills eighteen eighteen and twenty three forty five do pass. I now move that we bring up Senate. There was a Senate Committee substitute that you guys have had for a couple of days um, that I believe Senator Crawford's office had put together on 1775 and so when they te when they presented yesterday it was on that that Senate committee sub do we have um, I move that we bring House committee substitute for House Bill 1775 up before the committee I have a second so the bill is now before the committee I now move that we adopt the Senate committee substitute so I move that we adopt Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1775. Do I have a second? Moved and seconded. Now, do we have any discussion? Uh, I have a Senate Committee amendment, and I would move for its adoption. Please pass that around. And um, do you care to explain your amendment? Yeah, I, I think everyone already has a copy of, uh, if you want one, I think everyone else has one in their binder. Um, but this was Senator McCreary's legislation, and what it does is it provides that any amount of the $10 million in housing credits that are not authorized in a fiscal year may be authorized for contribution credits during that same fiscal year, provided that the total combined amount of housing and contribution credits don't exceed $11 million. Um, the underlying bill sponsor was all right with this, and this had passed the Senate several times last year. Discussion on the proposed amendment. Senator Coleman. I just want to thank the Senator for bringing this amendment forward. It's really common sense legislation. I'm happy it can hitch a ride. Any other discussion on this amendment? Seeing none. The Senator has um, moved that we adopt the amendment. This is by voice vote. So all those in favor of adoption of the amendment say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Okay, I now move that we do pass Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1775 as amended in committee just now. Do I have a second? 
I have a second. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Thompson Ritter. Ah. Senator Bernsketter. No. Senator Searpoint. No. Senator Coleman. Aye. Senator Fitzwater. Aye. Senator Caney. No. no. Senator Rizzo. Aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. Six to two. By your vote of 6-2, you have moved Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 1775 as amended do pass. Ooh, I now move that we go out of executive session. Do I have a second? Good. Um, we now are going to hear Senate Bill 1132. Senator, we're ready when you are. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Andrew Koenig um, here to present Senate Bill 1132. I think we've he heard similar bills to this in the past. This is dealing with the city earnings tax. Um, it re just requires some uh, quarterly reporting related to the earnings tax. Um, it further clarifies that the city cannot um, place a tax on remote workers, which constitutionally they are not allowed to do what they're currently doing. And so um, it just uh, seeks to fix um, this. And also, I just wanted to give um, Jackie Barger one more opportunity to testify against this bill. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any questions for Senator Sirkwood? Thank you, Senator. I'm just, I just want to make sure this doesn't phase anything out. This just cleans up the, the COVID problem. And all Correct. That. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Any further discussion or questions for the senator? Seeing none. Anyone wishing to testify in favor? Anyone wishing to testify against? Come forward. Please be sure to leave witness form. We're ready when you are. Uh, good morning, Madam Chairwoman, members of the committee. Jackie Barge, registered lobbyist on behalf of the city of St. Louis. Uh, I have enjoyed my Thursday mornings with you all as well. Um, I won't repeat anything I've said. Like Senator Koenig said, this is identical to House Bill 1516 um, that you all, I think, voted out yesterday and uh, Senator Trent's Senate Bill 1475, um, and it does not include any of the phase out. Uh, language. As I said before, we would prefer to wait and see what the court decides in May or June before making any legislative changes. Um, and that, that is all I'll say. Take any questions. Any questions? Seeing none? Thank you. Anyone else wish, wishing to testify against? Anyone for informational purposes only? Okay, this concludes our hearing on Senate Bill 1132, and this concludes our fiscal oversight hearing.